if you are getting ProRes not supported pop-up on your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max while you are trying to record 4K videos, that means you need to correctly set up and prepare an external storage drive such as an SSD and connect it to your iPhone first. So let me show you how to prepare any external storage drive so that you can shoot ProRes 4K videos on your iPhone 15. We are using M.2 NVMe SSD because they have the best transfer speed which is needed for smooth video recording. Now if we open camera and go to video and you don't see the ProRes recording option on the top left then it means you need to enable it first. To do that open settings then scroll down and find camera and from here go to format. Scroll down. Here you'll see Apple ProRes and we need to enable this. And make sure that ProRes encoding is set to HDR. Then we can close it and if we open camera again and go to videos, now you'll see we have the ProRes HDR option. Now if we enable this, you'll see that the maximum time we can record is 59 minutes. And if we try to go up to 4K, you'll see it says ProRes 4K is only supported when we have external storage device. So now if we connect our SSD and try to enable ProRes, you'll see that it still says we need an external storage device. That means our storage drive is not detected. It's because SSDs or hard drives come with NTFS formatting, which is not supported by your iPhone. So we need to reformat it using a Mac or any other computer such as a Windows PC. To format it using a Mac, insert it and open Disk Utility. Here under External, you should see our drive Right click on it and from there select Erase. Now expand the format option and from here select XFAT. We are choosing this because it's an universal formatting that will work on any devices, including our iPhone. Now click on Erase, then our drive will be formatted. And for the Windows users, just connect it and it will pop up on your Explorer. Right click on it and from there select Format. Here from the file system, select XFAT and then press start and hit OK. Now our SSD is formatted. So let's connect it back to our iPhone and this time if we turn on ProRes you'll see the max time is now 288 minutes instead of 59 minutes and now we can also change the resolution to 4K. And as the video will get directly written into our external storage, transferring it to your Mac or any other devices is also super easy. So that's how you can record 4K videos to an external storage on your iPhone. If you found this helpful, do let us know and make sure to drop by for daily fresh uploads.